Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking you through all of my favourite vegan food staples. I have actually been a vegetarian for two and a half and nearly three years now, which is a little bit crazy. And I do vegan every January, but I think this year, you know, I think I'm going to stick with it. Bold words, I know, but we'll see we'll see how it goes normally as a vegetarian i don't drink cow's milk i don't have eggs and i don't have butter which is basically vegan anyway the only thing is like i will have cheese oh, i love me some cheese and also i will have the occasional like chocolate and i'm not too picky about things so for example like if I want a naan bread and my curry I would have a naan bread normally which would have normal milk in or like shop bought cakes and stuff I would normally be okay with but now I'm switching it out and I'm gonna be a vegan queen. I haven't found veganuary hard at all I never normally do and this year I've made some real breakthroughs but I think that's because the whole vegan industry is really getting forward and there's more and more products available every single year. This year has just killed it. I'll probably talk you through some of my staple meals. These are things that I have like every week on the daily sometimes these are just my like easy quick meals that are regulars breakfast i have the classic overnight oats which is everywhere on tiktok and every like health and fitness blogger has overnight oats they are great i also do mine as a mix kind of like half oats half chia seeds so half chia pudding I don't really know my measurements, but there's loads of recipes out there, and I just chuck in some oats, chuck in some chia seeds, and chuck in some milk. I tend to use coconut milk to give it a little bit of flavour, or soy milk if I'm not really fancying that. And then I leave that in the fridge overnight, and I'll have it in the morning with a soy-based vanilla yogurt, and often some berries. I kind of buy the frozen berries, and then let them defrost out for like an hour in the morning. Sometimes I have to use the microwave if I'm not quick enough so main meals i love a curry i'm often having like a sweet potato and a lentil curry sometimes with chickpeas so so easy to make and i've actually converted my boyfriend and his family to a sweet potato curry we had a curry night at theirs obviously quite a few months ago now and i'm the only like veggie person so i was like yeah we'll do it. we can do a sweet potato curry if possible and they all really liked it and they actually had a sweet potato curry without me being there and they're all meat eaters and quite big meat eaters so I was surprised by that so a sweet potato curry is great I also like a ramen ramen is the easiest thing ever to make and it seems so hard and complex but honestly you can make it in literally 5-10 minutes it's so quick and so good. I just use any old noodles and I fill it with as many vegetables or other things I want. Often tofu I quite put in it. I put like tofu, edamame beans, mushrooms, carrots, aubergine, anything I have. Sorry, I always say that weird. My flatmates take the piss at me so much. I like a good like butter bowl, nourish bowl and I just put in loads and loads of vegetables and I chuck in often some fake meat with it as well. I do love me some vegan mints, you can make so much, often I'll do spaghetti bolognese, that's quite a staple of mine and lasagna which I've recently been getting into and instead of using normal lasagna sheets sometimes I will use a aubergine which is good and then to make the sauce I just use um, any dairy replacement milk, not coconut because it's just not the one with that sort of thing and then I will put butter, flour and nutritional yeast to give it like a cheesy cake even though it's not really cheesy and then I will throw in some vegan juice. Meat substitutes were something I was actually really scared of when I first went vegetarian. I didn't touch the meat substitute for like six months and just ate kind of like pure vegetables. But now I am a meat substitute fanatic. I can tell you all the best ones. So let's go. My favourite is Dumpf, just incredible. I think 
miners favorite ones like oomph the chunk or like pulled oomph it's just like a barbecue one and it's kind of like fake chicken and my boyfriend likes it and he is not really big on like meat substitutes another great chicken one is what the cluck for just kind of like plain chicken and also corn chicken nuggets and the best nuggets ever i actually know quite a few meat eaters that prefer them now so yeah you need to get on corn nuggets because everyone loves a nugget mince wise i used to be like quite fussy i know the corn one isn't vegan or it did it used to be vegan i don't know if it's vegan now but um i tend to use just like tesco own brand mints now like which is literally fine but before that i would use like bougie um like pea mint styles that look like actual mints in the packet but i just use a frozen one now much cheaper and a lot easier alt beef pieces are really really good i would recommend them and they're just so easy to throw in everything linda mccarthy sausages best vegan sausages ever so so cheap burger wise beyond meat is your girl she is i have no words incredible but a fiver for two burgers which is very expensive occasionally on club club price at 350 which is a steal I just, the meat is so incredible, it's so meaty, so like definitely worth the price, but if you're looking for a cheap alternative, the Tesco own brand burger is delightful as well, I do enjoy that one. Oh my god, going back to Linda, good old Linda, her like hoisin duck is amazing, it's frozen again. Most of the meat substitutes I use are frozen, which is actually so convenient if you have a frozen thing it lasts so much longer than it would for normal meat and you can just chuck it in cook it from frozen really really easy that is great now let's talk cheese i was such a big cheese girl i love cheese and for the last few veganaries i just couldn't get on board with vegan cheese i didn't like it i was like this is disgusting it doesn't taste like cheese but i've recently found some vegan cheeses that I like. I like the, I think the brand names are very similar. I think it's Vita Life and Vita Life. I got, so I've got the Vita Life block. I'm gonna put a picture of them on screen because I'm probably saying them wrong, which I really like. It melts so well. So I put it in my toasties quite often or I'll grate it on things. Also toasties, good staple for lunch. And I also love the Violite Grated Original Cheddar and their Grated Mozzarella. It's so, so good. Now, don't get your hopes up. It doesn't, like the first time you have it, you're not gonna be like, yeah, this tastes exactly like cheese. It has a cheesy taste towards it and it's not dreadful, but I think the more you have it, the more it tastes like cheese. Like for me now, it tastes like cheese and I think it's cheese. Like, I can't really tell. Well, I haven't really had. Well, I haven't had cheese again, so I don't know. But I can't tell the difference. I'm converted by the vegan cheese now. I do really want to try applewood. I've heard that is meant to be amazing, but haven't tried it yet. And I also wanted to try the little parmesan that they brought out this January at Veganuary, but they don't have it anymore. And I think a lot of supermarkets have bought out stuff just for the month and if the stocks haven't lasted then they're no longer in stock which is really really annoying but it's no big deal I mean there's other stuff coming vegan snacks are everywhere and there's so much that is already vegan I think everyone kind of knows this one but Oreo is vegan they've always been vegan so love me an Oreo have that all the time I love me a serene banana bread I'm actually addicted I can eat a whole banana bread in one sitting they are vegan they've always been vegan as a snack I make I make like date and cashew balls with cocoa powder and orange essence to have like a chocolate orange energy ball these taste like quite similar to the naked chocolate and orange bars so if you like them I would definitely recommend making your own there's so many recipes online that you can follow and adapt I often also snack on just plain dark chocolate I love chocolate and I've actually been properly converted to dark chocolate in 
God, I'd probably say like the past year and a bit now I prefer it to normal chocolate and it's grey. Talking about dark chocolate, Bonville of Brow Chocolate Orange. Bonville, thank you. And also thank you Bonville for your chocolate fingers. Amazing. Little do their own version of Percy Pigs, which is Henry Hippos. They are really good and I think Percy Pigs are vegan. I know one of them, I don't know if it's the original or the original veggie, has honey in it. So if you're against honey, then you can't have that, unfortunately. Candy kittens, but they are expensive. So get yourself down to Aldi, because Aldi do a good dupe. I'm not really a savoury snack kind of girl, but I know loads of crisps are vegan, so knock yourself out with that. The new digestives, I can't think of their name. I got them the other day, I got like, it's like a chocolate and caramel, they are vegan. I don't think they are made to be vegan, they just so happen to be vegan. Lotus biscuits, vegan again, absolutely amazing. Another chocolate bar that I had the other day that blew me away it was the no moo chocolate caramel mm. i have no words i actually tried it on my vlog from the other day so if you want to see my reaction <laughs> joking but uh anyway it was amazing literally tasted like dairy milk caramel so i would fully recommend that to you if i've forgotten any of my favorite snacks here they are on the screen now now let me get you into the fast food as a vegan Fast food is really, really hard. One fast food company, McDonald's, you need to step up your game because you are trash. There is literally nothing good and the stupid veggie, veggie stuff you do, I don't want. I don't want breaded vegetables. That is not, not doing it for me. So, I'm gonna tell you the good vegan fast food. My holy grail, KFC vegan burger. Mm incredible so good tastes just like chicken i have no other words she is a fabulous subway tastes like chicken sub amazing as the name says it tastes like chicken it's really really good i've also had the meatless meatball mariana which again is amazing and i've had the veggie patty and i actually quite like the veggie patty she says and she just like the doors off for having a vegetable product Waggers, it's not really a fast food, but Waggers, just so much. The vegan ribs, I had them the other day, incredible, and their menu has got so much stuff. Nando's, The Great Intimidator, I haven't had it yet, I don't want to talk about that, but that is also meant to be amazing. The Subway have released a kind of like breakfast McMuffin, and I need to try it because it's the Beyond Meat Burger, so... I just need to but I just don't really know when I'm going to because obviously I'm not really like going out anywhere in the morning to go and get something and if I was to order food hungover I would want to go for that but I know no one else that I live with would be like yeah let's get Starbucks so I feel like I'm not gonna have that but I've heard great things I've got Pizza Hut and Papa John's that do great vegan ones I think Domino's have also branched out. I think it's Pizza Hut that do something with Beyond Meat but it's only at selected stores and it's getting to me. <laughs> Staple wise in my covers you will find me having lots of beans, lentils, chickpeas, tofu. Tofu is a holy grail and the thing with tofu that like people just a bit put off by is the fact that like you kind of have to season it otherwise it's not too great. However, if you're having chicken, you need to season your chicken. Who has plain chicken? No one. Exactly, like no one has plain tofu, no one has plain chicken. You season it, mm, perfect. So thank you for watching. I hope I have given you some good vegan food ideas and let me know if you try any of my recipes or just, you know, have some good product recommendations that I haven't mentioned because I'm always on the hunt for some good vegan food. And I will catch you next time.